Hello everyone, I'm Deadly Dill, and welcome to this week's episode of Gaming News. This week's top stories include cancelled Star Wars games, PlayStation Showcase, Xbox Game Pass vs. PlayStation Plus, Destiny 2 news, and Zelda Tears of the Kingdom after one week. But before we get into any of that, let's hear a quick word from our sponsors. This week's sponsor is Coffee Brand Sponsor. That's right, we actually got an actual sponsor this week. I recently got partnered with them, so I mean, use my code if you want, but seriously, use my code if you want some really good coffee superior coffee with superior taste every time i drink this coffee my beard grows exactly one inch talk about intense growth all right let's get into this week's top stories in star wars gaming news it is reported that the much anticipated knights of the old republic remake is getting canceled which really sucks because i really love that game but honestly it comes to no surprise to fans after also the recent cancellation of the open world star wars game Star Wars Eclipse. It really is true when they say all bad things happen at once. Just like when my children tell me that they did something they weren't supposed to do. One eating all the cookies that were meant for later and then all of a sudden I find one of them eating shampoo out of the bottle in the bathroom. Gotta love it. But for real, in the name of everything that is holy, can we stop canceling Star Wars games? EA's done enough damage already by destroying one of the most beloved games of all time, Battlefront. Can we just give the people what they want and that's more Star Wars games? Well, maybe it's just me because I'm just literally just the biggest Star Wars nerd on the face of the planet. Okay, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just upset because I want the games. I'm sure there's people that echo exactly what I'm saying too. We want Star Wars games and we want them now. But luckily, there's a light side to this dark-sided news. Ubisoft has reportedly said that their open-world Star Wars game that they are developing is set to release in 2024. Now let me tell you what, that truly gives me a new hope to Star Wars games in the future. And in PlayStation news, I got nothing for you because I recorded this video before the showcase even happened. You know why? I was planning on recording afterwards, but my editor said, Dill, if you wait till the, after the showcase is done, I'm not going to be able to edit your video this week. And I thought to myself, imagine wanting time for you and your own life to do your own thing when you could be actually editing my videos. The nerve, right? Just kidding. We love our editor. He does a great job. Anyway, I'm guessing that it was really, 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 really good. And there was a lot of oohs and ahs. And wow, PlayStation is so much better than Xbox. Look at all these millions of exclusives we have. Be on the lookout for more shorts about this PlayStation showcase this week. And I'm not talking about the shorts you wear because that'd be weird and in other news it is reported that playstation plus extra and premium have surpassed xbox game pass in the number of subscribers with only being out for one year it has over 14 million subscribers compared to xbox game passes 10 million after being out for five years now look i'm always going to be an xbox guy i've had every single xbox but i want to be honest all these statistics and all these updates that are being reported playstation is king of the console wars xbox has spent more time trying to make cloud gaming a thing instead of making amazing exclusives for their platform. And I say this with my Xbox Series X right next to me. It really pains me to think that Xbox has missed so many opportunities to make really, really, really good games. But instead they're like, you know what, forget that. Let's make sure that everyone can play their Xbox games on their phone, which I mean, it's really, really cool, but PlayStation is about to do the same thing, and they have way better games, apparently. Talk about fumbling hard. Imagine having all these game studios that you bought with all, literally, all these resources, and you can't make exclusive games. Much like Disney fumbling so hard with the Star Wars sequel trilogy. Much like the Detroit Lions trading away their star running back for a seventh round draft pick. Much like Gohan in Dragon Ball Super. If you know do you know at the end of the day we can finally say that sony has the console war in the bag in destiny news this week the new season season of the deep which was really hard to say launched this week with some mixed reviews but to be honest we're not here to talk about any of the exotic upgrades any of the weapon upgrades we're not here to talk about any of that we're here to talk about what may be the most important destiny 2 update ever apparently they added fishing to the game that's right they pulled a good old page out of fortnite which everyone seems to do lately so when you're surrounded by enemies and your squad mates need you to add clear forget about that just whip out your fishing pole crack open a cold one and res them when they get down and finally in zelda tears of the kingdom which was released about two weeks ago people have reportedly played over 200 hours without stopping and i thought call of duty players were bad i mean zelda games only come out every so often and when they do let me tell you the nerds certainly come out look no hate i'm a star wars fan i will die hard with that but zelda fans 
whole nother breed of people. Tears of the Kingdom received a almost perfect score, surpassing last year's Game of the Year winner, Elden Ring. But please, seriously, Zelda fans, touch some grass, take a shower, go out on a date, go watch a movie, do something, okay? Well, that's it for this week's episode of Gaming News. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, and hit that bell for future video notifications. I'm Deadly Dill, and remember, Bob Blast is trash. We'll see you next time.